Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. Well, I will ramble on with this question because I feel like it is something that has definitely evolved for me over the years. I am old enough that for the first half of my life, photography was not digital, but always connected to film. And as a kid, something being worthy of taking a picture, it was a big deal. Like if you were going to take a picture of something, it was something that was a big moment in your life that had to be memorialized. And with the advent of digital photography, I, I feel like all of our attitudes are very different now because now if there's something you want to take a picture of, you, you don't really think about it that much. It's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I'll take a picture. And um, on one hand, that means that there are a lot of things that are important that maybe wouldn't have been recognized as important that now we are keeping. But on the other hand, sometimes I find what I do is take a lot of lousy pictures because I'm not like setting it up. I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, I can fix it in editing. It'll be fine. And then I realize I've taken 30 pictures of the same thing and they're all terrible um, because I didn't put the effort in. So I think photography is a way of memorializing moments in our lives that we want to keep and we want to remember exactly as they are. But I think photographs lie. <laughs> Ah, uh, Margaret, that was great. That was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I rambled and then I got to a succinct point. This is the formula of the podcast, right? Like people say to me, did, did you ask a question? I'm like, I don't know, but why don't you talk now? So it's okay. It's good. <laughs> um, I think, I think right. because of yeah. who you are and how I have uh, entered your world or how you've entered my consciousness... Uh, I think I'd like to invite, uh, it's getting a little late here, it's about 9.30, it's past her bedtime, but I'm going to invite my daughter to come and maybe interview you. Okay. Okay, great. So, Cadence, why don't you come here? There's a bit of a lag. Okay, come on. So, uh, I'm sorry? There's a bit of a okay, lag. Yes, there is just okay. a little bit of yeah. a lag. Okay, so, Cadence, Margaret, Margaret, Cadence. I can see. Okay, Hello. great. Great. Hello. Okay. Hi, Cadence. Very nice to meet you. I read your books. <laughs> I am so glad to hear that. That is wonderful. And I understand I'm also keeping you up past your bedtime, which are, are you one of those kids who likes to be kept up past your bedtime? Or are you somebody who likes to sleep? I like both. You know, I like sleeping, okay. but... Okay. I wouldn't have discovered your writing without Cadence's influence. And uh, so, Cadence, why don't you, like, what was the first book of Margaret's that you had read? Um, the missing book one, Found, I have it here. Me and you both okay. read it yeah, together. We, we both read it together. So, yeah, basically, whenever I read it, I'd, I'd say what happened to him, and we just kind of reflect on it. So, <laughs> that's basically how I got through the whole series. <laughs> so, would you have a question for Margaret now that you have a moment? Yeah. Um, where do you get your inspiration for books? Well, it comes from all over. With that particular book, it was a couple of different things. Um, one of them was that I fell asleep on an airplane, and when I woke up, I had this total sense of disorientation that I didn't know where I was. I kind of didn't even know who I was. <laughs> and it made me start thinking about, and, and I, I know you or someone who has traveled a lot, so you maybe have experienced this, that it's kind of incredible that we can get on a plane and be in a totally different part of the world in, you know, not really even that much time. And um, so, I, you know, I kind of had this notion in my head about weird things that happen on airplanes, and I'm a little bit fascinated by that. And um, I had... I just had this notion of a bunch of babies on an airplane and, you know, where would they come from? Where would they be going? What would people do when they found them? And I just thought that that was a, a really fun thing to play around with. Yeah, I understand that. Like, sometimes I just get an idea and then I write down something like a Google note or something. And then I just don't stop until I've written, like, five chapters and I'm like, wait, <laughs> 
<laughs> Where did this start? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Yeah, that is how I feel too. That I get these ideas in my head and I get obsessed. <laughs> so, so if you could give Cadence a, a a bit of advice on what it's like to be an author, either ups and downs or in terms of the the challenges, and because we see we see the result, we don't see the process. Yeah, we don't see the writing process. Please explain. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's kind of like um, you maybe seen the movie the wizard of oz have you ever seen that movie yeah when i was little and and there's that scene where where toto pulls back the curtain and you know like here's the great and powerful oz yeah. and then toto pulls back the curtain and there's just some measly little man who's you know not got that booming oz voice and and then there's this like pay no attention to the man behind the curtain that it's like yeah don't look at that that's kind of what it's like to be a writer <laughs> because, you know, it's to a certain extent, writing is an illusion that we are creating these worlds as writers. And, and I'm including you and me in that together because it sounds like you are very much a writer and that you have that impulse that you want to make these things up and then share it with other people. That's what you're doing when you're writing things down. And to a certain extent, when you are doing that, you're, you're kind of hiding the fact, or I'm kind of hiding the fact when I'm writing that, yeah, when I wrote that particular scene, I had a really bad headache and, you know, maybe like, I don't know, I'm trying to think when I was writing the Missing series, my kids were in middle school and um, the same age as the characters in the Missing series. And, uh, you know, like maybe my son had said something surly to me as he was walking out the door because, you know, that's kind of what middle school kids do. And, you know, like I'm kind of putting that to the side and then I'm creating something that pulls together things from real life, but also has this imagination to it. And it is like, isn't it fun to imagine this? And that's kind of what I'm doing as a writer. So. It, there's there's kind of a tension now. A lot of writers feel compelled, like as they're writing a book on, say, Twitter, to be saying, oh, I had a lousy writing day, or this, this manuscript's never going anywhere. And um, to a certain extent, I think that's really healthy for writers like you who are young to see that it's not just, you know, we... We uncap our pins or, you know, sit down at the typewriter and it just comes out and everything's easy and perfect the first time out. It's important, I think, for young writers to see that there's struggle there, but you don't necessarily want to know every detail about <laughs> um, the background. Because <laughs> I, I think you want, you want to have that magic. You want to kind of feel the magic. And, and I will say there are moments when I'm writing when it does feel like magic, where it's just like, I have no idea where this idea comes from. It was just a gift that, that I got and I want to share with other people. Yeah, cool. Do you want to mm -hmm. say one last uh, thing or ask one last thing? Um, uh, like... Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say good luck with your writing. It, it's wonderful that you are writing a lot. So that was going to be my parting comment, I guess. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Bye. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. So nice. Um, so how the, the, the podcast works is the, it's framed around the photographs. Right. So, so I asked you for four, four photos. You'll be, you'll be amazed that the, an hour goes by su super fast. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, awesome. So is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So if you like what you've seen, and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.